Hello besties, today I am doing a video on everything I'm going to be reading for the next three months because honestly I've been reading slowly lately. No I haven't. Anyways, the point is I don't feel like I'm going to be out and buying a ton of books so I put myself on a book buying ban a month ago and I've only been allowing myself to get like thrifted books and stuff or books from the library so that I can save more money and it's been working out pretty well um I don't know how long that's gonna last but honestly it's fine I have a ton of books I need to read and on my shelf that I haven't read yet so I'm gonna show you all the books that I have that I'm gonna read the next three months so let's just get into the video right now okay the first book I'm gonna show y'all is something I started about a month or two ago like in January I think we started this in January but a in a pit with a lion on a snowy day this is a book i'm reading for um my college age group at church and it's really really good i just uh tabbed like each chapter um and i'm like halfway through this book and i'm loving it so i'm probably gonna finish this soon um ahead of time but that is one of the books I'm going to be reading and then I'm going to do start the Maze Runner series but like I want to read these before I actually watch the movies. Oh, I feel like these are going to be interesting and also they literally have Dylan O'Brien on the back covers of the first two books and I'm just like we love him. Anyways um, I'm going to be reading this series. I think there's two more books after the first three, so I'll have to get those eventually, but I'm going to read the first three books. We love that. Um, I'm also reading A Rebellion, and I started this. This is my current read. It's taking me forever because, like, I've been watching a lot of shows, but this is really good, and I'm loving it so far. It's like an underwater world or whatever. And then I have If I Stay, I want to read this because it looks so interesting. Um, and I've heard so much about it. And also my sister gave me this. So I'm like, let's read it sometime in the next three months. We'd love that. Then I need to finish Judah's Wife. Literally, I'm in the mood to read another or one. Of, I'm in the mood to read this. Anyways, so we're going to do that um I'm not even halfway through I'm like 120 pages in and it's really good I need to I need to read that okay another Christian book that I started was Girl Perfect and this is about a former runway model and she's like a model since she was a child um and it's literally so good from what I read so far and I'm just reading a little at a time it's like an in-between book where you read like it in between different books anyways I'm loving this it's so so good um yeah I'm also I started this as y'all can tell I've started a lot of books and I haven't finished them yet and that's mainly because I'm a mood reader and anyone who has this problem I feel like it's a problem because you can't just pick up any book and read it. Literally, I have to be in the mood for it, and that is annoying. Anyways, I'm going to read another Taylor Jenkins read book, and I've started this. I'm on, like, chapter... Okay, it doesn't say what chapters there are, but, like, I'm on page 38, and the chapters are small, so uh, I already know I'm going to like this book. The first Taylor Jenkins Reads book I read was so, so good, and yeah. Then, in the mood for heartbreak, I'm not really, but I need to read A Little Life because I spent so much money on this, and yeah, it's a thick book. Anyways, I'm going to annotate and highlight in this so much I already know that, but like I'm scared to start it. Like why am I scared to start it? I have no idea, but um, I feel like people hype it up so much and that's probably why I'm like scared to start it, but you know, we just gotta get into it. And then I want to start A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It's like a murder mystery. She's investigating it. 
or whatever and yeah I don't really know I just know that people say there's a little romance in the series um so I have the first book I'm gonna start it and then if I like it I'll get the second book maybe we'll see but I feel like I'm gonna like that and then I'm gonna read Lovely War which I've already started and I'm almost halfway through it's really really good um it's got like two love stories in it and uh yeah so I'm loving this one and I need to finish it so yeah these are all the books I'm gonna be reading for the next three months and that's one two three Well, um, I'm gonna try to stay away from online books because those distract me a lot. Um, but yeah, this is my TBR for March, April, and May. And then in June, I'm gonna start my summer, summer, summer list of books. And I already have a whole plan of books to read for summer. And it's going to be great. And maybe I'll buy a couple new summer books too. We never know. Anyways. But yeah. These are the books I'm going to be reading. I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Maybe got some ideas of books to read. I don't know. Um, Yeah. I know it's been a long while since I uploaded. I don't know when the last time I uploaded was. But I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notifications bell down below if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all back in my next next video. Bye!